former member of the committee of experts that crafted the current constitution, Dr. Ekuru Okot, has declared that he will be contesting for presidency in the 2017 general election. Okot, who is also a high court advocate, will run on a third way alliance movement and he begins his campaigns officially tomorrow in Kajado East constituency. Duncan Hayamba spoke to him. This is the man who believes his time has come and has thrown his heart in the ring. For the avoidance of doubt, I will definitely be offering myself to run for president of Kenya 2017 under the Third Way Alliance. Dr. Ekuru Aukot says his presidency will focus on four pillars, protecting the constitution, depolarizing Kenya from tribalism, addressing runaway corruption, and taking youth and women into government. I want to promise the people of Kenya that it will be a 50-50 for women and men in this country. Uh, you know, the youth will form an integral part of, 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 the, of the government uh, under, under my administration. And, and, and I think I need to stop this, uh, you know, treating youth and women as just political flower girl. Ekuru maintains that Kenya needs imperative political redemption in order to shift from developing to a developed nation just like the tiger economies in Asia that were on the same level with Kenya in the 60s. I am concerned about how a Kenyan can actually access a doctor and be treated. Those are things for me that any administration should be able to think about. It's not about power contestation as it has been for a long time. Ethnicity has and continues to play a central role in Kenyan politics. Will he surmount the challenge? given that he comes from Trukana community, considered as a minority. First of all, I'm not a tribalist. I, I don't see myself as a tribe, and tribe can never help me. In fact, the only reason, Kayemba, you are talking to me right now is a Kuru Aukot is because of education. Otherwise, you could as well go to a, my village in Kapedo and speak to any other Trukana about this. Education equalizes us, so I don't see tribe in this country. Nobody eats tribe. A few Kenyans we spoke to in the capital Nairobi had divergent opinions on his candidacy. Dr. Ikiru comes from a minority, that's the fact. And there's also this fact that Kenyans vote along tribal line. And then he, ha he, he doesn't command that wealth that other his competitors has. If it were not for that, Dr. Ikiru can make the best present ever Kenya could get. He has a lot to do. He needs to go and he needs to introduce himself to other Kenyans. And I can say we wish him all the best. There's nobody who has the monopoly of ideas in this country, or even who should run for, the, uh, for any seat in this country. Here, ethnic or minority doesn't uh, uh, count. As long as he's a Kenyan and he can uh, sell his policies to the country, or to the Kenyans, or to the electorate, he qualifies. At the end of the day, we sh he shall have uh, tried his best, uh, we shall have seen him, but this Kenya, if you don't come from a bigger tribe, if, if you cannot marshal a lot of resources like the other does do, then uh, people will just hear about you and then it will just vanish like that. For now, Ekuru continues to engage his think tank as he strategizes and prepares to plunge into the world of active politics. Duncan Hemba, KTN News. Electoral Wars.